Hi, Mike Brantley Auctioneer. Attempting to answer another question today, which is, is auctioneering protected as free speech? And interestingly enough, that's been argued in court. In the state of Tennessee, a um, group of people, legislature, what have you, proposed that there would be a license required for online auction activity. And those opposed to that license filed suit. See, that's the proper thing to do. They didn't camp out in front of the governor's office or um, threaten anyone or um, uh, assemble on the streets and yell and scream. That's not right. They filed suit. They found an attorney. Not that you can't peaceably assemble. However, is auctioneering speech. A live auction is free speech, seems. I freely speak at live auctions. I've done that for years, decades. Is the auction business essentially protected against regulation because it is, it is constituted as free speech? And I would tend to think, with the exception of Tennessee, generally, no. I don't think the framers, I'm not necessarily a textualist when it comes to the Constitution, but I don't think the framers envisioned uh, free speech encompassing auctioneering and that that would be protected and that would uh not be able to be regulated or infringed upon with regulation or burdened with regulation. And as we have seen occupational licensing for online and live auctioneers in half or two thirds of the country, auctioneers to perform their job, need a license, need a permit, need something to pay a fee, something. Well, if it's protected free speech, then you can infringe on that right. Now, we talked earlier about, well, actually, they can. Uh, they can infringe on it to the point that it doesn't create an undue burden on your protected free speech, the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. But is auctioneering free speech? Is singing free speech? Is talking free speech? I think the difference between, well, they say freedom of the press and the press, a newspaper or website or what have you, media, um, the press make money uh, from producing content, speech, I suppose, or auctioneers talking, producing content to uh, make money, uh, similar in that fashion, but the press is particularly denoted in the First Amendment, and auctioneering isn't. I think it's going to be an interesting question. I, I don't see a strong argument for auctioneers avoiding regulation, avoiding licensing, avoiding um, any kind of regulation, citing um, free speech. And it hasn't been argued, to my knowledge, up until just um, recently in Tennessee. So we'll keep an eye on it. Mike Brandon Auctioneer, pleasure to be with you today. Other videos on the same page, others forthcoming. Have a great day and stay safe.